is Gina and this week I'm going to be making baked fried chicken. I'm going to be using corn flakes as a kind of crust to make it nice and crunchy just like deep fried chicken, however much healthier because you're not using a vat full of oil. So if you're interested in seeing how this comes out, smash that thumbs up below. I have linked the recipe and wrote out a full description of how I made it in the description box. If you want more weekly dinner inspiration, please subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's make dinner. So it is the night before and I need to marinate our chicken. 16 ounces, so that's going to be two cups of buttermilk. One tablespoon of hot sauce. Whisk this all together. Add our chicken to marinate in this overnight. I just want to make sure that all this is coated in the buttermilk. This will help tenderize your meat. Cover this with some saran wrap so that I can put it into the refrigerator overnight. You can also do this like about four hours before you're going to make it. So if you wanted to just do this in the morning before you leave for work and then pull it out like right before you're going to make dinner, that would also work as well. I'm just doing it overnight because I have some time now. Why not let it get marinating? So I'm just going to preheat our oven to 350. Take some Dijon mustard, a quarter cup of the whole grain mustard. Whisk all of this together. There you go. This is all set. For our breading, per se, Kellogg's Corn Flakes. One cup of our corn flakes. What I'm going to do is just take them and grind them up in my hand. This is the one scenario where you don't mind if your box of cereal is crushed when you take it home because you're going to be crunching it anyway. And this will make up the outer coating that will be crunchy. In fried chicken, obviously when you fry it, it has kind of a crunchy consistency and that's what we're going to get from the corn flakes without adding the need to actually fry it. I'm making an executive decision to do actually triple of what it called for. So that's two cups right there and another cup. So I'm actually going to do three cups of the cornflake just because it does not look like enough and it's going to be really annoying like once you start making the chicken to have to make more of this because you're adding, I'm also going to add some oregano and parmesan cheese so I want it all like ready to go. Three cups of crushed corn flakes. To that, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of Parmesan cheese. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons of oregano. And I'm just going to mix this together with my hands. I've already been using my hands anyway. So we'll just mix all this up. This smells really, really good. Just as an FYI, that oregano just really brings in a lot of good smells. Here is your outer breading. We've taken out our chicken and it's been marinating overnight. Remove the fat from the outside of the chicken. Dredge it into my egg 
first, shake off any excess, put it right into our cornflake crumbs. And then after that, you put it right onto your baking sheet. We just need to continue that with all of the chicken. On top of our chicken, I'm just going to spray some cooking spray, but this is actually just extra virgin olive oil. I'm just going to give this a light spray so it'll crisp up. And this is what I had left over. So, not terrible. It's always annoying with this kind of stuff because you don't want too much, but you also don't want to have to remake it mid-process. I'm going to roast up some veggies with our chicken to have as a side. And I just mixed a third of a cup of olive oil with one Lipton's packet, Lipton's onion soup packet. Place your veggies and your chicken into the oven and these are going to cook for 35 minutes. These just came out of the oven. They were in there for 35 minutes. And I'm just going to take my thermometer and check the internal temperature. You just want to be careful not to touch the bone with this because that will make it hotter. Yeah, I'm getting 165, so I think the chicken is good. Our veggies. I'm just going to take a fork and just try to yeah they look like the real thing I'm worried about would be the potatoes because I know the green beans will be cooked so I'm just seeing if they're fork tender fork did go through the sweet potatoes feel like they need a little bit longer so I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna put it back in for another like five minutes or so now plate it up and hope that this chicken did not stick. Which, no, it doesn't actually look bad. So, we've got our nice chicken. And we'll get some of these veggies. Plate number one, looking delicious. Here is dinner. This recipe was so delicious. I just forgot about this recipe to be honest and then I was thinking about video ideas and I was like oh my god that's this is the perfect recipe because it's so good it's fairly easy to make not too much coordination and it's just delicious the oregano really just smells so flavorful the crunch from the cornflakes oh so good so I hope you like this recipe if you do want to make it like I said I linked everything in the description box and if you liked this recipe, smash that thumbs up so I know to make more. Thank you so much for watching this week. Next week, I'm going to be making something festive for Halloween, so definitely stay tuned for that. And make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone!